Hey guys, it's Rachel here from Deshelle Labs, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to take apart your wood daisy in order to swap out the op amps. Okay, so the only thing that you are going to need in order to take apart your wood daisy is actually just going to be a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, and that is all. And of course, your daisy deck. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is take out all the screws on the back plate. So every single screw that's on the back plate, you're gonna remove with the two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, so you're gonna take out all of the screws on the outside edge, as well as all the screws on all of the inputs and outputs. All the screws have been removed from the back plate you are just going to take it right off so i find it easiest to grab in one of the xlrs and just pop it out just a little bit and you're going to run into it being stuck on here just lift it right over that next we are going to remove all of the screws on the front plate <laughs> The next thing you're going to want to do is unplug all seven of these switches and make sure you're holding the plate if it is not on a surface. Just like that. Next, you will be able to slide the board out from the back. I have made multiple videos showing how to swap your op amps out. So I'm just going to give a quick demonstration to remove your op amps. You're just gonna take the op amp and just kind of wiggle it out. And you could just pull straight up, just like that. And then to put them back in, you wanna match the indicator with the indicator that is on the board. And you can see right here, the little, little mark right there. And you're gonna line up all eight pins and just push down, that's it. So find the indicator on the board and on the op amp, so right there, the little notch, the little bridge. Line up all eight with the op amps on the board and just push down. Now in order to put the unit back together, I'm going to first put the back plate on first. I just find that easier just so it slides in pretty easily. So I'm just going to take the back plate, match everything up correctly, and make sure you add that little hook on there, and then just line it up. And then you just need a couple to hold it in place for right now. So I find it easiest to put it on the XLRs, just to hold it in place for easy putting back together. You just take your two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, screw them right back in. And I'm just doing three, three for right now, just so it doesn't fall off while I'm trying to put it back together. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to take the back of the board and you're going to slide it right into the case. And then you can put back all the screws into the deck. Okay, so now we are going to plug the wires back into the daisy. So in order to do this, you're going to want to look at your wires and kind of track down where each one leads. So this is the first one. And there's going to be little notches, if you can see that. And that's the way that they're going to get plugged in. So you're going to just reach your hand in there and line it up and just plug in. And you're going to do that for each one of these. So this is gonna be your next one. And you're going to make sure that it has those little notches. And you're just gonna press down and plug it right in. 
find your next one and repeat on all seven of these. Okay, so now that all the wires are plugged back in, you are going to just align the plate and screw in the holes. The easiest way that I have found to do this is I take one of the screws, I push it through, and line it directly up with the hole on the case, and then I'll screw in from there. So this one screw is gonna be a good placeholder to be able to screw the rest of the screws in. When screwing in your screws, don't tighten them all the way as you still wanna be able to move this up and down in order to maneuver it to where you need it to be in order to screw in the rest of them. After all your screws are screwed in, go back and tighten the two beginner ones that you did just to make sure those are tight as well all right guys so that is how you take apart your wood daisy in order to swap out the offense i hope this is helpful but if you have any questions you can always email it to info at detaily.com or call us but as always be kind like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye